Greece from the Hall of Fame to the young players who dream of ending up there one day. We welcome you to Geico High School Nationals presented by Axe. Today in Fort Myers, Florida, we crown a national champion in high school boys basketball, and it will be a first time national champion. Either Arizona Compass Prep from Suburban Phoenix or Link Academy from the Ozarks in Branson, Missouri. Just like the NCAA men's tournament, no top three seeds made it to the final four here. AZ Compass throttled IMG in the fourth quarter to make it here, and Link Academy put away Sunrise Christian in the semifinals. Hi there and welcome courtside along with ESPN's National Director of Recruiting, Paul Biancardi. I'm Ted Emmerich, Matt Schick coming up in just a moment. It has been such a special week for high school basketball, Paul. We were in Houston and saw the most competitive McDonald's All-American game in decades. Here, upset after upset, buzzer beaters. It has unequivocally been the best Geico Nationals in the 14-year history of the event. Yeah, the only way it could be better is if Caitlin Clark shows up. She was tremendous last night. <laughs> Today we have 15 ranked players competing for a championship and the number one spot in the final poll. Also seniors putting on the uniform for the last time, trying to get that championship with their teammates. Among those 15 ESPN ranked players, Elliot Cadeau, the junior point guard for Link Academy. He has been the catalyst, committed to North Carolina. You see the 24 assists so far in the tournament. And for AZ Compass, Trent Pierce coming off the bench. The future Missouri Tiger had a big second half yesterday against IMG. And we check out our Fuel Tomorrow, brought to you by Gatorade, starting with Pierce. And Trent Pierce sits inside the ESPN 100 at number 75. He came up big yesterday, knocking down outside timely jump shots. He went three for four from distance. He's a 40% three-point shooter, and he's on his way to Missouri to play for Dennis Gates next season. For Link Academy, the five-star point guard and North Carolina commit, Elliot Cadeau. This guy is a shifty and quick driver to the basket. An exceptional passer with great vision. He is the engine that makes Link tough to beat in big games. How about that dime? Well, we also have two McDonald's All-Americans in our game, and moments ago, Matt Schick caught up with them. All right, thank you, Ted. Here with Jacoby Walter and Mookie Cook. Been a busy week for both of you guys. You go from McDonald's All-America game now to Geico Nationals. How would you describe the week? Uh, you know, it's definitely been crazy, you know. Uh, you know, just been competing for a week straight and uh, just came out here, but we all focus on one goal and just trying to get this win. Mookie, how about you? No, nah, definitely what he said, man. You know, it's been a very busy week, but, man, you know, we just trying to win. That's the main thing we've been focusing on this whole week. And what would a win today mean for you? Oh, uh, man, it mean the world. You know what I mean? This is something I've been dreaming about my whole life. Uh, it just be a big accomplishment. Geico Nationals for Link, what would it mean? Uh, you know, it would mean everything. You know, we uh, came here as a family with one goal, and, uh, you know, we worked hard for this. So to win it, you know, it would just be like uh, mission accomplished. Right. Best of luck to you guys. Thanks. Ted. Yeah, that is the mission for both of these teams that play on the national stage. Walter signed with Baylor. Cook signed with Oregon as we check out our starting lineups presented by Axe. So Walter Cadeau and Cameron Carr, who signed with Tennessee, forms the link backcourt chest headed to LSU. Tyler McKinley, a junior big, filling in for the injured Kate Phillips, who signed with Tennessee. As for AZ Compass Prep, making their third straight Geico Nationals appearance, all five here in the, either the ESPN 100 or the ESPN 60, the junior class. Ross going to St. Mary's High to North Carolina, Washington to New Mexico. Victorious Miller is a junior, ranked 24th in the class. Paulie, both of these teams, we've seen them the last two days, they know how to turn the other team over. Pressure defense, physicality, we're well matched here in the final. Well, it's a matchup of two physical teams, as you mentioned, with great athletes, 15 ranked players between the two rosters. Elia Cadeau has been fabulous, the North Carolina commit. As you mentioned, 24 assists in two games and five steals. His running mate, Jacoby Walter, had 34 points on opening night. And with AZ Compass Prep, they play eight to 10 guys. You don't know who's gonna be the star. Last night, it was Trenton Pierce. Night before national champion today, and AZ Compass Prep turns it over. Cadeau, the pass ahead to McKinley for the dunk. You see, kick, you name it, he can make it. Victorious Miller drains the three. America. 
when you play with Elliot Cadeau and you run the floor, you're going to get buckets. His ability to Julian Phillips at Tennessee, Jordan Walsh now at Arkansas. Nice slip inside. True Washington headed man. McKinley kicks to Jacoby Walter, who splashes in the three. Now a steal by Corey Chess Jr. on his way to LSU and on his way to the basket for two more. Field. Coming off the high ankle sprain that limited him over the last month. Cadeau the turnaround and it bounces in. Watch the ball movement by Link. They get it up the sideline to the middle. McKinley makes the one more. Jacoby Walter had 34 points the opening night. He can create his own shot off the bounce with the step back. Through. Three in the white. The junior headed to North Carolina. He turns the corner for Nels could hit there. Check out Elliot Cadeau. He comes off a double high drag ball screen. No hedge, no help. This guy can get buckets. Cook, the McDonald's All-American, feeding Pierce oh. for three. Davis Ray in the ESPN 25. The lefty scoop goes. Elliot Cadeau comes out leading link. He is the engine that makes them tough. Off the ball screen, the hesitation, the blow by. It's fun to watch. Turns it over to start the second. Rayvon Griffith bursting ahead for the compass. Gets it, looks up, throws a bullet for a finish. It down. Good to see Cadeau back on his feet for Link. Walter, good with a foul. Jacoby Walter. Elliot Cadeau scraps for it, gets it. Again, the bullet hit ahead pass. Jacoby Walter with strength and focus at the rim. Look at this with the left hand. He's got great positional size at 6'5. Walter rising up off the feed from Cadeau. School national championship game. My goodness, look at this defense by AZ Compass. Walter trying to shake through Washington, and Walter banks it in. This is tenacious. Next level defense by AZ Compass. But guess what? It's next level offense by Jacoby Walter. That's why he's going to be special at Baylor. And the NBA scouts that were here the last two days have really been intrigued. With but this young man is a promising prospect. Great tip by High. Safe. High signed with North Carolina. Rowe in for Cadeau oh. and Aaron Rowe. Geico National Championship. Kobe Walter can score from all different levels. That time in transition with the left. Aaron Rowe remains in at point guard. Cadeau on the bench. Walter looking to create, and he does. Six, seven wingspan does Aaron Rowe. Nice ball movement, and Satan High is seven here in the title game. Cadeau back on the floor to McKinley for the throwdown on Ross. Elliot Cadeau just manipulates the defense in the middle third of the court. Runs a simple ball screen with Tyler McKinley. This month as they try to qualify for the FIBA World Cup. Ross off the steal for two. They're in a point guard in Jordan Ross, number 11 going to St. Mary's. McKinley for three. The big man knocks it down. It's amazing. McKinley spots up. Zayden Hyde late on the closeout. By B.J. Davis Ray. McKinley wants another one. Give it to him. What a week it has been from Houston to Fort Myers. And coming up, we look back at the best McDonald's All-American game we've seen in years. Hey, it was off someone's head. They should practice that in workouts. Cadeau knocks down the triple. Watch this inbounds play. Dribble handoff. Cadeau step back. Defense late. That's the thing about Elliot Cadeau. Sophomore row at point guard. McKinley, the lob to Corey Chess Jr. Catches it in the press offense. Nobody in front of him. Penetrates and makes the assist. That's what point forwards do. Uh, the class of 2023, April 19th. Future class is April 21st. True Washington. It's Rebounding, steals, something. Five to shoot. Rowe locates McKinley. Turning it over, and they're not turning over Link. It's a bad recipe. 
There you and Mookie Cook is finally on the scoreboard. Slow down, execute. You look at it. Trent Pierce is the only one shooting 41% from. Ross, the extra feed. Rayvon Griffith from the corner. Easy compass, 3 of 13 from downtown. Row off the spin. How about that finish from a 10th grader? Final minute of the quarter. Washington hits the throw over. Ahead to Rayvon Griffith, and he lays it home. Get the rebounds and move, and then he talked about how this play right here wanted to stunt, wanted to cut, wanted to drive and a lay in. They bottled up. Carr at the end of the shot clock. In 2021, returned to win the Peach Jam the next year. Pierce off the mark. Griffith is blocked, but the North Carolina. Sophomore Aaron Rowe pilots the ship. Seven to shoot. Walter to the rack. McKinley clean. Six minutes to go. Jordan Ross in the ESPN 100 going to St. Mary's. And Zayden High goes reverse side for two. Hounded by Washington. Jacoby Walter. Oh! Needs someone who can make a jump shot when the shot clock or game clock is winding down. Jacoby Walter is the man for Link Academy. How about the balance? Washington finds Ray. Rowe gets the screen from McKinley. Defended by the senior Ross. And Aaron Rowe is pure. You have a shot clock, don't rush it. Against the much bigger Allen. Oh, Rowe flips it in. Griffith hits the three. Back on the floor for Link with the four personals. Around the big Pierce, and it drops through. Shows you how deep and strong this event was this year. Carr, oh, there it is. They could use Cadeau. How about Jacoby Walter today, our Chevrolet player of the game? Scott Drew could use him next season, and he will. Finishes with length, balance. I love his creativity off the bounce. Doesn't force the action. Knows where he is on the court. He's got the pull-up jump shot off the rhythm dribble. He's got a complete offensive game. One on the court. But now a national championship in sight for Walter. And Link Academy is the missing link. The Lions from Branson, Missouri are Geico High School national champions.